kind of how are you guys adjusting to be able to be prepared for this upcoming series? Well, we're, we're trying to keep things in perspective, knowing that uh, if you look at the last week or so of our season, you know, so we start with a, a Saturday, Sunday series up in Northern Michigan, um, difficult series against a very good team and long travel. So we get back late or, or real early uh, Monday morning and take Monday off. And then we've got to turn around and play a series again, Friday, Saturday. So we believe a little bit of what happened on, on Saturday, you know, the second half of the first period and then the second period had to do with our schedule and it being early and then also Michigan State playing really well. And then as we move forward into this weekend series, uh, we know that Western Michigan is a very good team, you know, so, so we've played a very good team in, in Northern Michigan, a very good team in, in Michigan State, and now we play our, our third very good team in a row, and we've got to be ready to go. Yeah, Lawson is a, is a difficult place to play, and, and Western Michigan is going to be excited to play and, and ready to go early. So what we're trying to do is, is not overreact to a, a, a bad outing or a bad second period, uh, try to take the positive, try to teach, and, and, and make sure we're as prepared as we can going up to Lawson on Friday. And uh, Zach Rose, of course, getting named goaltender of the week this past uh, weekend, as well as uh, getting time with his career saves at 39 on Friday night. Just kind of how does that feel for the team mentality? Yeah, well, again, the, the team feels really comfortable with, with both our goalies in the net. And, and, and you know, in, in reference to Zach, he, it, was, it was fun to see him play as well as he did on, on Friday up at uh, – East Lansing, and, and so he, he he did a really good job, and, and then he got thrown into a difficult situation on Saturday when Christian got hurt, but really, really good to see Zach rewarded for his effort on the weekend. Um, that's two weeks in a row we've had guys get CCHA weekly awards, which is great, and, uh, you know, the team feels, you know, they, they know how hard he's worked to get back to being healthy uh, with the rehab after his surgery, and so uh, they, they feel really, really good for Zach when he, he does well. And then I got to ask about Stover, of course, on that second night, getting the stitches into his hand. Um, are we expecting to see him this weekend? Uh, he practiced today, so that's a, that's a positive sign. Uh, it was a, a really, we tried to watch it on tape and figure out exactly what happened. Obviously, all night there was some traffic in front of him, and, and uh, he thinks that uh, he actually cut his finger on his own skate. Uh, he was reaching for the puck, you know, and, and the underside of the blocker, Obviously, there's a bunch of pads on the blocker here. The underside is a real thin piece of leather, and he he was reaching for the puck with his blocker, which blocker hand, which you normally don't do. And he thinks that the stick was going for the puck and pushes his hand into his his skate blade. Uh, but he practiced today, and and all as long as things continue to move the right way, we, we expect to see him at one, at some point this weekend. Having depth, especially at that position, how much confidence does that give the guys? Yeah, you know, depth's been something that we've been talking about a long time around here, and, and we want to have depth at every position. And uh, This is the first time we've had uh, four healthy goalies or four goalies uh, who, are, who are potentially able to play, and it, it up to this point we've needed them all four because, you know, at, at different points, you know, Christian has – he, he was a little sick last week, and Zach's coming back off his surgery and some different things. So it's it's really a, a luxury to have that depth back there for sure. I was just talking to Ryan out there, and he thinks one of the keys, you know, Fridays and Saturdays is about getting off to strong starts. He says it's not really like a Friday or Saturday thing. It's Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. It's about the preparation piece. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? How are you, how are you guys working on that? Yeah, so... Like I mentioned just a little bit earlier, you know, if you look at our schedule, uh, you know, we, we long bus trip up, play Saturday, Sunday, get back Monday. You know, we can only worry about our schedule and control our schedule, but sometimes you're playing teams that haven't had the same travel schedule or game schedule you have, especially early when there's exhibition games and off weekends and things like that. So what Ryan's talking about is making sure that, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're doing the right things during the week to, to get enough sleep and rehydrate and, and fuel your body properly so you give yourself the best opportunity to be at your best on the weekend even though it's hard sometimes early in the year when there are short weeks in the turnaround so we're trying to be as as aware of those types of scenarios as we can but we also you do have to practice and you do have to go to school and you do have to do a lot of different things that, that take you know a bunch of your time up but when you have a guy that gets off to a strong start like that does that lift everybody else on this line? Yeah, we're. I mean, Ryan's been been really good. He's he's a guy who is is really diligent and and uh, works really hard. And and so for us, you know, we we've 
Saturday was probably our least consistent effort from, from start to finish, but it's the first time we scored the first goal of the game, which a lot of times if you can do that, that gives you a little momentum, especially at home with the great crowd we have. But, uh, you know, getting off to good starts is, is always a better way to go about it than the alternative. And, and so wh whether it's individually like, like Ryan or Zach or Christian or, or, or other guys or, or collectively as a team, uh, getting off to a good start certainly puts you in a better place. Uh, the shot count being a little uneven this past weekend. What are you guys doing to improve on that zone entry and blue line management? Yeah, we, you know, we've, we we watched the, the games over the weekend and um, even on, on Friday, you know, their Michigan State's goalie did a great job of coming out and playing pucks. And, and when, when, when you can do that and then, and then make clean plays after, uh, it, it certainly puts you at an advantage because we just weren't able to get to our forecheck and get any zone time. Uh, Especially on Saturday, and then and then you know when you're when you're sitting on the bench and you're looking up at the shot clock, and you know you spent a bunch of time in your own end, and you, you look up there and you, you feel like the ice is tilted. Uh, what we've got to focus on is is the, you know that next play mentality and and trying to uh, they, they go hand in hand, you know. So when you spend a bunch of your shifts in your own end, and then you do get it, you don't really have any energy left to go the other way and get it in and get forechecking or or get up the ice with any speed or any momentum, and now you can't play in their end. So it's just, it's kind of a vicious cycle. You go in, you go in, you defend, we make a save, we get it out. We don't get it into a spot where we can go for check and have any sustained pressure. Then it comes back and you're doing the same thing over and over. And that, that seemed like what the second period was. So uh, ideally we want to, we want to obviously improve on that. And there, there's a bunch of different factors that go into it. And Ryan O'Hara, he's already doing great with four goals this season. Um, what have you seen other than stats that has improved since his freshman year? Um, Ryan's a real, Diligent worker, you know, he had a really good plan, you know, his end of the year meeting last year, he talked about um, wanting to do certain things and, and that's just how Ryan is wired. He he went home and we, we had no question that Ryan would go home and have a really good summer, which is what he did. And he came back ready to go and he had goals. He wanted to be in, in this role that he's in right now, being a guy that can be counted on and contributing to the offense. So uh, it's, it's, it's really, his hard work and preparation has put him in a spot and he's taking advantage of his opportunities. And just my last question, Western Michigan, from what you've seen and what you know, what kind of hockey do you think they play? Um, you know, they, they're a really well coached team. They, they're coming off of a frozen four. So they're a team that uh, their standards and expectations are high. They had a lot of success last year. They've had some turnover in their roster. They had a, a, an older team last year with some fifth year guys and, things like that. And, and so they've got some new players, but they're talented and, and uh, we expect them to be, you know, really excited to be at home um, Friday night at Lawson in front of a, or Thursday night, sorry, at Lawson in front of a big crowd. They like to, they, they play fast. They've got skill. Um, they're hard to play against. They do, they will block shots and, and defend really hard. So we're expecting a, a, a very deep and solid team and, and it's going to be a tough test for sure. Anything on Zoom? Hey, Coach. Um, Lawson could be quite an uh, intimidating environment for a lot of players. How are you going to prepare a lot of your guys who've never been in there for that place? Uh, yeah, we, we've tried to talk about it. Um, it's a similar building in terms of how, how things happen on the ice. Uh, if you remember, I said last week that, you know, Mun Arena, their kick plate uh, near the ice is, is really fast and pucks bounce. Lawson's the same way. It's got an active kick plates so we're going to have to be prepared for that and then uh the Lawson lunatics do a great job so our guys are going to have to to the best of their ability not focus on that and and, and focus on on things they can control and, and maybe tune out that outside noise if they can hey Ty, uh jack here uh just you know you talked about having a weird week like weird schedule with sunday to friday and then this week yet thursday so you're not you're still not maybe into the normal week uh Friday, Saturday group, do you think that'll help you guys, hurt you guys? Like, what do you think about how you prepare for sort of these weird weeks at the beginning of the season when you're not all the way 100% probably at your normal uh, levels, I guess? Yeah, we, we've talked about it. Um, we've tried to just, you know, stress to our guys that uh, we understand this isn't, we have not had a typical, you know, Sunday off, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We, we haven't had that yet since we've got into our official full season um so we're looking forward to that but but our schedule is what it is and, and so we've got to do the best we can um, 
trying to be aware of, of giving them enough rest, excuse me, enough rest and, and not pushing too hard in practice to make sure that they do have uh, gas in the tank for, for the weekend when they play games. Um, but it's just, if we can get through this weekend uh, in terms of this schedule, not, not, not the opponents or, or games or anything like that, just get through this weekend in terms of the schedule and next week things should get back to normal in terms of our, our normal Monday to, to Friday routine. Um, and then from, from there on the rest of the way, it, it seems pretty normal. So we're just trying to, to worry about what we can worry about each day and, and, and focus on the things we think we need to do in practice in order to give us a chance to be, to be good on, on the weekend. I just want to, sorry, just like a real follow up to that. I know you guys went on to play Northern uh, last week, but you're up with us last week, too, so I apologize. But uh, just as far as getting those CCAJ games in under your belts right away, I know that's a little unusual, but uh, how would, do you think that prepares you for like the rest of the season? Uh, just having those three points in the bag already, uh, it's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, um, you know, for, as, far as, as far as the experience perspective, Playing two real games that first opening weekend allows you to 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 put guys into situations that are difficult and, and, and get valuable experience. Um, you know, on one side of it, you look at okay, so we went to Northern and played two real games, and and Michigan State played an exhibition game. So, um, is is were they more fresh because they just played the one? Um, did we get valuable experience because we played real games that that that, that counted? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. And then in regards to the CCHA, uh, Northern Michigan's a, a, a team that believes they're going to be in the hunt all the way to the end of the year. And uh, a team that has the potential, they think, I believe they think they're, they're a team that has the potential to, to be uh, right there at the end in terms of the regular season championship. And, and ironically enough, we, we played the very, very opening weekend of the year and we play them on the you know, very last weekend of the year. So there's a lot of hockey that's going to be played. But for us to go up there uh, with six points on the line and, and, and get four out of the six was, was a very positive way to start the CCHA season.